Ghana's bustling infrastructure scene lies a testament to progress and collaboration. That is, the often call in Sawem Dual Courage Way project. As the sun rises over the horizon, so too does the promise of a smoother, safer journey for thousands of commuters traversing this vital artery of transportation. With each passing day, the landscape transforms echoing the tireless efforts of engineers, constructors, and policymakers striving to reshape the nation's future. Before we continue today's video, if you are looking for engaging and informative content, you've come to the right place. Our YouTube channel is a treasure trove of knowledge, entertainment, and inspiration. By hitting that subscribe button, you are signing up for a front row seat to our exciting journey, so make sure to subscribe. At the helm of this ambitious endeavor stands Mr. Thomas David Arthur, the resident engineer overseeing the meticulous reconstruction. With a keen eye for detail and unwavering dedication, Mr. Arthur reveals that 40% of the project is now complete, a testament to the relentless pursuit of excellence driving every aspect of this construction process. But the significance of this project extends far beyond mere statistics. It represents a synergy of public and private interest with the government and Maripoma Enterprise Limited joining forces to breathe life into this transformative vision. Under the watchful eye of Associated Consultants Limited, the project takes shape weaving together innovation and expertise to forge a path towards progress. In a recent interview with Bernard Avle on the City Breakfast Show, Nazer Yate, the Ministry's Public Relations Officer, unveiled a timeline brimming with promise. With substantial progress anticipated by November 2024, the road to completion stretches tantalizing close. Yates' words paint a vivid picture of anticipation, promising asphalt laden roads and bustling interchanges, a testament to Ghana's unwavering commitment to infrastructure development. In terms of progress, it was observed that quite a lot with regard to concrete works and earthworks had been done. The contractor had also deployed some water tankers to dampen the road periodically to help reduce the dust in the area. Perhaps, most inspiring of all is the revelation that this monumental tax is entrusted to a local Ghanaian contractor. As Mr. Yate proudly declares, the Ensawam Ofanko Road project is being handled by one of our own, a Ghanaian contractor who is doing exceptional work. This poignant declaration underscores not only the project's tangible achievement but also the indomitable spirit of Ghanaian ingenuity and ambition. Indeed, the often core in Sawam Dual Carriageway project transcends mere infrastructure. It embodies the very essence of progress. It is a testament to the power of collaboration, innovation, and unwavering determination. As the wheels of progress continue to turn, this transformative endeavor serves as a beacon of hope, illuminating the path towards a brighter, more connected future for all Ghanaians. The minister, after embarking on the tour, said he had mixed feelings. On one hand, he said he was so happy and excited about the kind of work being done on the project and the progress of work so far. He therefore commended the local contractor and all the project consultants for the good work done. In the annals of Ghana's storied history, the Afon Corps in Sawam Dual Carriageway project will stand as a testament to the nation's resilience, ambition, and unwavering commitment to progress. As the final layers of asphalt are laid and the ribbon is cut, let us remember not only the road we have built but also the journey that brought us here. A journey forward by hope, determination, and the unyielding belief in a brighter tomorrow. Don't miss out on all the exciting content coming your way. Hit subscribe and let's embark on this journey together. Thanks for being part of our YouTube family.